the channel. So we are still over here at VTune Shop, but one of our main goals right now is to make sure all the body gaps are perfect. We're gonna do a little bit more aligning, and then after all that's done, we're gonna actually move on to our cooling system, throw it back together, and hopefully take this thing home. guys check this out after a bunch of adjusting we finally got the fenders and the hood adjusted properly the gaps are looking great as you can tell there amazing check this one out as well looks original that's definitely OEM right there next step is probably popping them headlights right yep popping the headlights adjust the headlights to the hood to the fender and then we're gonna pop these little brackets in we did forget to order one of these uh, I think it's like a uh, that uh, it's like a snap-on bracket for that little uh, filler piece right here but no big deal we're gonna try to adjust as best as possible but as long as the main body lines are adjusted beautifully now let's go ahead and throw these headlights in. So actually, before we start throwing that front end together on the GMC, we do have a little bit of damage on our intercooler, so we're gonna go ahead and take it to the radiator shop and test it if it has any leaks in it. And if it does, they're just gonna go ahead and fix it for us. So let's go ahead and take it straight there. All right, so here we are at Duffy's. Let's go ahead and drop this sucker off and hopefully uh, it's all good. Let's see what's up with it, really. Yep, let's do it. All right, guys, so we just dropped it off. We're gonna give them some time, then we'll be back later. All right, so we actually ran to Food City to grab some distilled water for our radiator. Yep, now we're gonna run to the local parts store and grab some radiator food, so let's get it. All right, so we are back. We got our distilled water and our antifreeze. Now let's go ahead and put that front end back together. She is looking mighty fine. What do you oh yeah, everything just came together really nice. Took a little bit of time to adjust everything, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Now we're probably just gonna go ahead and take everything back off and get that intercooler and start reassembling it. Yeah, we gotta go pick up that intercooler. It's at Duffy, so hopefully he's got it done. He kinda said it was gonna take a while. I know, he said about three hours, but it's been two. I'm sure it's already done. So we're, we may go ahead and actually put a few more pieces together that go on the inside. Uh, these are the brackets that I, I think they hold up the battery, air box. Battery tray and air box. Yeah, battery tray and air, and air box. So we're going to go ahead and put these two brackets on and then we're going to actually run to that radiator shop and hopefully our intercooler is ready to go. Alright guys, so we got a good bit done here. Now it's time to go pick up our intercooler. Let's go. Alrighty guys, here we are. Got it all fixed. welded there up. There was a leak here and also a little leak here as well as uh, he had to change the gasket. But we are all good, airtight. This sucker is ready to get thrown back on. Let's go. Let's head back. Check this out. We got everything finally put back together. Everything lines up perfectly. And those lights look absolutely sick. We got power to it. So what's next? Pretty much is to... We're gonna fill the radiator fluid up, let it run, throw the wheels on, then finally pull this thing off the frame machine. Looking great too. I love those lights. Straight back. Yeah, 
She looks so much better out in the light. Yeah, it Cummins back there. Ram. But it doesn't have the right transmission. <laughs> Man, this is a long process, but it is finally done. That thing's a beast, though. Got a pretty sweet suspension on it. Woo! Look at it. Looking mighty fine. Hey, we may need a, a couple codes cleared if you don't mind. All right, I'll get the scanner. Get the scanner, man. How's it driving? It drives amazing, dude. I can't wait to get this thing. Dude, it looks so good. I can't wait to get it lifted like that truck. I was just talking oh, about that dude, truck over there. That's gonna be so sick. Some wheels, a lift kit. We're gonna we're gonna miss the original feel of the wheels and tires and stock. Yeah, but, I bet it drives so freaking smooth, dude. But it's way better to have it to look. Oh better, yeah, but know? we are gonna do a test drive with it all stock. You know, we're gonna fix it up. Yeah, do we alignment. are gonna definitely get like some of the best quality of lift kit and wheels and tires. You know, try yeah. to get it as smooth as possible. You know, because even when you do lift kits and stuff, there's some quality stuff out there that makes it drive just like OEM. So right front wheel speed sensor circuits open. Hmm. You guys change the ABS sensor? Oh, uh, yeah. Might be ripped. Yeah, it may be bad, so that's good to know, yeah. That's, that's where the traction and the ABS is on. Sweet. So that's our only light, really. Any other codes? Nope. All righty. Engine light, nothing. Ready to go. Sounds good. All we need is an alignment, man. We'll be ripping this thing. I'm over here wireless charging, man. What? Stealing juice? Stealing juice. Is it working, actually? Yeah. I mean, the phone doesn't really fit in there, but... But it's charging. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Dude, that's sick. All right, so no luck on clearing the ABS and the traction control light, but we did find out what the problem was. It's our little speed sensor on that wheel over there. It's completely ripped. Pretty yeah, much. it got ripped out whenever that whole entire suspension was ripped out during the accident. We totally forgot about it, and then uh, just remembered, went down there, and it's just hanging there. So we're going to have to somehow solder that up, but right now we're going to load it back up on dude, the trailer and it. take it back to the shop. Let's do it. Man, I'm excited, dude. Finally, this thing can drive. Oh, yeah, what I was going to, I forgot to mention, what about alignment? That's what I was going to talk oh, about. Oh, yeah, alignment, definitely. Definitely needs alignment, but it's just too late right now. We may go in the morning, you yeah, know. Yeah, tomorrow we'll do alignment and uh, see what's up with that rear axle, you know. Maybe we can adjust it on the alignment rack. We'll see. We'll figure yeah, something out. Definitely needs to be unbolted, and I believe a leaf spring. One of the bolts, some of you guys mentioned, got sheared or something. Yeah, it could happen. There's like a pin that goes down, and it, it could have sheared off. So we're definitely going to check that out on the alignment machine. What does V-Tune have to say? Look at him. He's okay, prowling. Ready go. ready to go. Yes, sir. You're going to miss this thing. Ain't oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> Might bring it back for you to work on it a little bit more. Okay. I mean, he did his magic, man. Definitely go check his YouTube out, his Instagram. This man's doing it as well. So we appreciate it. We'll catch you next time. And uh, we'll bring you some more damage. Let's do it. Some, some damage. crazier damage, man. This was a little bit too easy for you. Too easy, yeah, man. Yeah, something bigger. <laughs> something bigger, man. Ain't nothing something, stopping something to be smashed. tuned. Thing is smooth, dude. Really, I'm tempted to just go down the street. Oh, but we won't. Once we get our alignment, we'll take it down the street because this sucker is out of whack. Press the brakes and the gas pedal at the same time. We'll see if it'll burn the back tires out. Well, you got to get the camera. I've never done this before. Hold the brakes really tight and then press the gas slowly. Woo! Oh, she got some juice on her. That juice, dude. That's my first like actual burnout. I don't usually, <laughs> I don't usually damage my stuff like that. But it was fun. It was yeah. well worth We're it. We're gonna get bigger tires, man. Let's go ahead and load this sucker up. All right, so we are officially off. Got the GMC coming home. That was actually really tough, dude. Lining that stuff up, dude. Huge props to V-Tune. Yeah. That man knows his stuff. Trucks, definitely 10 times harder than a car, you know? Yeah, Cars because are, everything is heavy duty. Dude. Everything is super heavy duty. All the metal is more beefed up and just, all the parts are actually heavy too. Like, take, take everything off. The And it's, everything's bigger, you know, the, the, the the radiator, yeah. the intercooler, everything. everything. It's like a lot more bigger scale than a car, but it's a lot more fun when we're done with it. That's exactly, dude. We got some huge plans for this thing, but as always, guys, drop your comments down below. We try to listen to you guys as much as possible, and actually, a lot of you guys have been giving us some huge advice, some huge help, which means a lot, and it's definitely gonna help us get into the truck, or the diesel gang, for sure. The diesel game, 
the diesel you, game, man. We got to get in there. Diesel gang, diesel game, all that stuff, dude. It's fun. I really love it. This Ford does a great job, but now we're building definitely. our own rig, and we're going to definitely go all out on it. So definitely. stay tuned for that. But we're going home right now, and we're going to do some more work. All right, so we finally arrived back home, and check this out. Semi is gone, man. Finally, man. <laughs> Finally, a lot easier to maneuver in here, but we'll get we'll, we'll we'll let you guys know what happened to the semi later on. That's not the that's not the big deal right now. The big deal is the GMC right here. She is finally home. Sucker's gonna need some more coolant. It did run low, but that's exactly what we're doing right now. That's why we did the burnout. You know, need to you needed to warm up, and yeah, there was no other way to do it. Yeah, the the coolant would just not go down at all. Okay. That did the trick. May have to do another one. Hey, I'm all for it now. <laughs> Great back. We've done it so many times. All you got to do is get real close to that rail right there. Or that... I love pulling the truck off so easy. Yeah, I know, right? Sucks pulling off all the low, low cars. The Viper, the Lambo, but we use a different trailer for that. But this uh, skid steer trailer works just fine. And man, dude, this truck is looking better than ever. Love it as it is, but it's going to get better. That's going to take down the road. I know. Let's do it. Give me a lineman. We'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it tomorrow. We'll give it, get it fully prepped for the road. That way it's not pulling the steering wheel straight and all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Looking great. Needs tune delete, lift, tires, wheels, everything. TCM delete. TCM delete. Everything. TCM tune. Needs everything what you said. I'm smooth. But we do got some things on the way, guys, so stay tuned for that. This truck is going to be a beast. Pretty much a tow pig. That's kind of what we want to use it for. That's, That's what I was doing. As soon as I got in it, I was like, dude, I just want to go cruising. That's, That's probably why it's got so many dang miles on it. Somebody just got in it and was like, man, I just want to go cruising. It's such a smooth truck. You so know smooth. I mean? You got luxury all the way around, and the interior is nice. Oh, yeah. Hit these lights right here. Check this out, guys. Bam, that's pretty sick. Well, when you're at night backing up to your trailer or something. Yeah, that's we're gonna be nice. backing up to the boat. Backing up to the boat. Backing up to a, a new build or something. New build. Yeah. New build alert. So the next step to this project, of course, is gonna be paint work, but we're gonna go through a little bit different process with you guys. We're actually gonna show you guys how we do the state inspection before we paint it. They actually wanna see this truck uh, all fixed up, no paint work done to all the body panels that you change because they just wanna make sure that none of these parts are stolen, you got all the receipts, and they wanna make sure everything was done right. So we're definitely gonna have to get state inspection first, but for now, we're gonna have to actually catch you guys tomorrow because we're gonna get this thing on the alignment machine, hopefully get this thing lined up. All right, so it is the next day here, and before we head to the alignment shop, we're gonna go ahead and clean everything out, the bed of the truck, all of our old parts, and then we're gonna head that way and get this thing aligned. So we got the bed cleaned out. We got all those old parts out. Now it is time to actually swap this wheel for one of these rear wheels because to do front end alignment, which is the most important thing right now, we're gonna require to have the same uh, diameter wheel, right? Yeah. I believe that's like smaller diameter, I think. What is it? It may be the same height, but... Uh, it, Just rim size, I believe, is different. Yeah, rim size, and if it's, it may not be the exact same, you know, 100% height, you know what I yeah. mean? So that's an 18, this is a... This is a 20. So yeah. So we're gonna need it exactly the same on the front, front especially. On the rear guys, uh, we know that the axles moved over a little bit, but we're actually gonna probably wait until we get our lift kit in because we're definitely gonna be removing half of that stuff back right. there. So not a big deal. It's not like too crazy bad, but we're gonna go ahead and get this front end aligned so we can at least uh, drive it around a little bit. Let's get this sucker lined up. Let's 
to it, man. I'm ready to get this thing uh, driving like an arrow. Yeah, because look at the steering wheel sitting right now, man. That's pretty much going straight as a bullet right there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get this thing to not have that airplane steering anymore. Let's do it. Just like the place is called right there. Look at that. Good to go. Short drive for a better deal. Let's see how this thing drives. Oh man, I'm ready. I'm ready. I mean, the steering wheel is already straight, so I already know that it's going to drive smooth. Let's see it, dude. The rear end may still be off a little bit, but. Oh yeah, it drives a lot better, dude. Watch out for Coca Cola, man. Dang. Sucker pulled right out. Straight up cruising with a uh, sunroof open right here. Man, I love that feature right there, dude. Is there any other truck that has the name sunroof? Because this is the first truck I ever, <laughs> I didn't even know trucks came with sunroofs until now, but there's a few out there, I'm sure. This is an awesome feature, and the truck is driving absolutely amazing. A hundred times better already, just, just by the front end alignment, dude. Now we need to probably go home and check out what's up with that rear end, maybe. Yeah. Or, or are we just going to wait till we get our lift kit? Yeah, I was going to say, we probably just wait till we get our lift kit because all that stuff is probably going to come off anyway. So once we get our lift kit, we're going to throw everything in realign because we're going to need alignment once again once our lift and new wheels and tires go back on. But for now, let's just go cruising. So we just got back from cruising this thing and it drives absolutely amazing after the alignment. Even with that rear axle a little bit cocked, you can't even tell at all, but we are gonna fix that. But for now, what we're needing to check is the transmission fluid because we did lose a, a good bit, probably up to half a quart whenever we took off the cooler. So we do have a little dip stick right here and you have to run this thing up to temperature. So it is up to temperature because we just got done driving. So let's go ahead and check and see if we're low. Let's do it, dude. And if we are low, we can just run to the store and uh, hopefully, I wonder where we can get this stuff. Maybe yeah, dealership. I don't, I don't even know what kind. Yeah, maybe dealership should hold this. Whoa, man, got that spiral. This sucker is a fishing line, man. Dang, this thing <laughs> is long. All right, let's check. Are we where buying? is it at? Are we dry? Or no, we ain't dry. It's just clear. Yeah. Wipe Hello? it and check it one more time. Check it one more time. That's kind of weird. If it's clear, it'd be hard to check. <laughs> it should be red. That's the stuff that came out of the cooler. Yeah, it was front. like it was not too red though. It was yeah, like it was a like a little bit. transparent red. So it was not like your typical transmission fluid. That's like super red. It's that Allison juice right here. I mean, let's let's see what the napkin. I'm just gonna show you guys because you can't really tell. But if I slide it, you see how it's catching mm. on the napkin. So it's all the way up to hot, right here. Yeah. So we may be good, but we did lose a good bit, so I, I don't know. Maybe just add like a little bit like this much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, but it, it, it literally stops. If you the camera can't catch it, it stops like right here. It is a little bit hotter than it usually is because we did drive it. You have to have it around what? like 180, uh, 180 degrees on, on the temperature. And we have a hot day and we did drive a good bit. Gave it a little bit of a torque because we were trying to test it out. But I mean, it's transmission looking good, fluid dude. looking good, but anyways we may have to add a little bit because we did add lose that. some i wonder if there's like air maybe in the line or uh i don't know i don't think there's this this type of it's that type of system really R right it may so. be good but honestly yeah we'll check that we also need to check all the fluids and maybe change fluids all that good stuff right there anything else that we need to change i check? think we're all good there dude all did our we, fluids did, are was good was there any uh, power steering coolers up front on this thing there. oh we did not unhook it i think that's what that one if you can see it that one little bar that goes right there i think that's oh, the that power spin thing yeah we never unhooked that so we, we should be good there our coolant is good we did keep losing coolant once we we're driving it because every time we drive it it would drop down so we finally filled up i think it was like four gallons of coolant in this yeah. thing so we're good on coolant df fluid i don't know how to check that it doesn't pop up anywhere in the truck so we don't even know how much is in there but apparently 
It's a huge tank. It's a really ugly tank. Yeah, you never gonna run out, man. And it sits lower than the frame rail. I don't, I don't understand what GMC <laughs> was thinking about that one. Hopefully, in the future, we'll delete that. But for now, that is gonna be a wrap for today's video, guys. The next step is gonna be paint work. So be sure to stay tuned so you don't miss out on anything. Also, guys, if you wanna support your boys, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com. We got a few new hats on the website, and they're very limited. So be sure to get you one while they last. Also, guys, be sure to follow us on Instagram at GoonSquad, where you can get inside scoop there before. For YouTube and be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you guys next time peace